Welcome. We're going to practice vinyasa flow yoga today. We'll do a bit of balancing, a bit of strengthening and opening, working the whole body. Hi, I'm Nora from St. Louis, Missouri, and you're watching Fight Master Yoga. So we'll start off in Tadasana. Step to the top of your mat. Big toes touch, heels a sliver apart, or you can open your feet a little wider to the space about your hips. As you plant your feet, press into the mound of your big toe, your little toe, inner heel, and outer heel. Bring hands together at heart center, relax your shoulders down, and close your eyes. We'll start to develop your breathing. And as you do so, set an intention for your practice today. Think about what brought you to your mat, why you chose to do this practice. And from there, set an intention, be intentional. Once your intention has been set, Exhale, empty out your breath. The next time you breathe in, stretch your arms over your head, Urdhva Hastasana. Pause here and extra breath. Press your chest forward. Draw your front bottoms, bottom ribs <laughs> slightly in and firm your abdomen. With your next exhale breath, tiny bend of your knees, Fold forward and down, coming into Uttanasana. As you inhale, slide your hands to your shin bones or come up to your fingertips. Lift your chest away from your thighs. On your exhale breath, plant your hands, step one foot back, and then the other coming into downward facing dog. Take a few breaths in your down dog. It might feel nice to nod your head yes and gently shake your head no. It might feel nice to press one heel down toward the mat at a time, stretching a little deeper into your calves and even the soles of your feet. Now gradually settle into stillness, holding your down dog one more breath. Relax your jaw. With an inhalation, shift your weight forward into your hands a bit more. Come into plank pose. Take an extra breath here. Resist gravity by pushing the ground away with your hands. And slowly, slowly exhale, lower all the way down to the ground. You can always set your knees down first as needed. Press into all 10 of your toenails. Inhale, lift your chest, low cobra. Draw your elbows toward your side ribs and press your chest forward. On your next breath out, curl your toes into your mat. Push yourself up and back, downward facing dog. Pause here, three breaths. Push down into your hands. Lift your shoulder blades slightly away from your ears. Press your hips up and back. So one of the main priorities of down dog is lengthening out the spine and the torso. Hold your down dog, inhale. Exhale, look up toward your hands, walk your feet to that space. Inhale, lift halfway, chest forward. Exhale, release and fold. Press down through your feet. Inhale, come back up to stand, circle arms. Exhale, lower your hands. We'll move through that a little bit faster. Inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, come up halfway, chest forward. Exhale, step back to plank pose. Knees can come down as needed. Bend your elbows, chaturanga. You can lower to the floor or halfway. Inhale, either low cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, push back down dog. 
Take a deep breath in and out here. Make sure you're practicing with the body that you have today. So working within those limitations. Deep breath in. Exhale, look forward, walk or jump your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, sweep arms up. Exhale, lower your hands. Inhale, circle arms. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back to plank pose. Bend your elbows, chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Now take a breath here and we'll add on this round. With your next inhalation, raise your right leg to sky. Exhale, bring your knee to your chest. Inhale, kick your leg back. Exhale again, knee to chest. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, knee to chest. Step all the way through. Turn your left heel down, come up into warrior two. Hold here, deep breath in and out. Extend through your fingertips and bend deeply into that right knee. With your next inhalation, reverse your warrior. Take right hand to sky. Keep sinking into your right thigh. Lift and lengthen out of your side body. Hold reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, side angle. We have lots of options here. Forearm can come to the thigh or you can slide that hand inside of the foot. If you feel like you wanna try a bind today, wrap your right arm underneath your leg, reach your left hand behind your back, and try to link up fingertips or a wrist. Again, work with the body that you have today. It might feel different than when you practiced yesterday. Take another breath and release. Set your hands down to frame that right foot. Step back into plank pose. Take an extra breath in. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Elbows point back. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale to down dog. Now take a couple breaths. Down dog is a place where we can come back to to slow our breathing. But if at any point it doesn't work for you, take a child's pose instead. Child's pose is always there whenever you need it in practice. Now, if you're in down dog, raise your left leg, inhale. Exhale, bring your knee to your chest. Inhale, inhale kick back. Exhale, hug it in. One more time, inhale, kick. Exhale, knee to chest, step all the way through, right heel down, come up into warrior two. Pause your breath, spread your collarbones, open your chest. Next inhalation, reverse warrior. Keep bending into that left knee, lift and lengthen out of your left side body. And you might even feel like you're breathing a little deeper into that left lung. Hold here, inhale. Exhale, side angle. Lots of options. Forearm to thigh. Maybe you bring your hand inside of your left foot. Maybe you work into a bind. Left arm underneath the thigh. Wrap your right arm behind. Grab fingertips or a wrist. Lean back wherever you are. Stay open through your chest. Hold here, inhale. Exhale, take your hands down, framing that left foot. Step back to plank pose. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga, belly lifted. Inhale to your back bend. And exhale, downward facing dog. Pause in your down dog. Take another three breaths. 
slow down your rate of breathing. And more than just slowing it down, try to smooth your breath out. When we breathe in a smooth way, it can help the mind to become more steady. From down dog, inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, step inside of right thumb. Now stay on the ball of your left foot. Rise into high crescent lunge. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, lean forward, sweep your hands back by your side. Inhale, lean back, reach your arms up. Exhale again, lean forward, hands back. Inhale, lean back, reach up, and exhale, lean forward, hold here. Push back through the center of your left heel. Find a focal point for your eyes. When you are ready, step onto your right foot, lift your left foot, Virabhadrasana three. Notice how that left hip wants to lift. Try to keep your left hip just about level to your right, Draw up through the wall of your abdomen. Now from warrior three, stay balanced on that right foot. Come up to stand, hands to heart, pull your left knee to chest. Cross your left ankle, top of right thigh. Sit into standing pigeon. Push that left knee down and flex your left ankle. Take another two breaths. If this doesn't work for you, totally fine. Come to stand with your left toes on the floor. So you're still working a bit of balance. Now, if you're in your standing pigeon, lift yourself up. Big step back, returning to high crescent. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, set them down. Step back to plank. Hold your plank, inhale. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend, heart forward. Exhale, down dog. Pause in your down dog or child's pose. And again, work on smoothing the breath out. In through your nose, out through your nose. Steady stream of breath. If you're not in down dog, but you feel ready, come back. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, step between your hands. Stay on the ball of your right foot. Rise into your high crescent lunge. Hold here, inhale. As you exhale, lean forward, sweep your hands back by your sides. Inhale, come upright, reach up. Exhale, lean forward, lift your belly. Inhale, lean back. Now exhale, lean forward, hold here. Active through your right leg. Find that focal point, your drishti. And when you feel ready, step onto your left foot. Lift from your right inner thigh. Try to keep the hips relatively level not going to be perfect. That's okay. It's yoga practice, not yoga perfect. Take another deep breath and slowly come up, hands to heart, pull that right knee to your chest. Cross your right ankle, top of left thigh, sink into standing pigeon. Now again, if this doesn't work, right toes on the floor, you're still working a bit on balancing on that left foot. Two more breaths. If you're in standing pigeon, press that right knee down toward the floor. Then slowly come upright. Big step back, high crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, set your hands down, step back to plank pose. Take an extra breath in. Exhale, let's all lower to the ground this time. And as you release to the floor, hook your right thumb on top of your left, 
press down through your pubic bone. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your feet off the floor if that doesn't bother your low back. Feel like you're trying to pull your thumbs apart. Reach your heart more forward. Two more breaths. See if you can come up a little bit higher. And gently release. Set your hands down. Push yourself up to your hands and knees. Circle out your hips a few times. This always feels so good after a back bend. The circle in the other direction. Just loosening up the gluteal muscles. And circle back to center. Bring your legs forward in front of you. And come to about the center of your mat. We have one more, one more back bend today. Well, two more, but two more different variations of the same pose. So feet about hips width distance. Outer edges parallel. Slide your hands back behind you a good eight inches. Fingers can point forward, but that does put a lot of pressure on your wrists. So feel free to turn your fingers out instead. And take a breath in and out. Start to lift your chest. With your next inhalation, press your hands and feet into the floor. Lift into reverse table. Couple different variations for your head. You can look at your belly button. You can look up toward the ceiling. Or if you know that you're able to lift your chest a lot and you don't have any neck issues, you can start to drop your head back. Just be really, really mindful there. Hold another two breaths. Press your shoulder blades forward into your chest. And then gently release your hips back and down. Cross at your shins. Sit upright and just roll your wrists a few times. So I mentioned one more pose, two different variations. We'll go into the second variation. If it doesn't work for you, you just stay in your reverse tabletop. So option one, you're back where we were a moment ago. Option two, we straighten out the legs, coming into reverse plank pose. Take a breath in, lift your chest. Keep it lifted as you exhale. Next in breath, push down through your hands and feet. Lift your hips off the floor and hold here. So again, you can look forward, you can look up, or you can drop the head back. Just mindful of your neck spine. Take another two breaths, lift a little higher through your chest if you can. Then gently lower your hips down and lower all the way down onto your back. Good work. Those poses are challenging. Let's bring the right knee into the chest, straighten out your left leg long. Then bring that right knee over to your left side for a reclining twist. Now as we start to shift toward Shavasana, try to move your breath a little bit more into your abdomen to help activate relaxation response in your nervous system. And after this breath, release the twist. We'll change sides, left knee to chest, straighten out your right leg. And bring that left knee across body. Reach out through your right arm. Emphasize breath moving downward into your belly. Two more breaths. Next inhalation, release the twist. 
Bring your knees to your chest. Option to take happy baby pose. You can also explore extending the legs out in your happy baby or anything else that is gentle and will help to move you toward your Shavasana. When you feel ready for Shavasana, extend your legs. Settle your body into stillness. Close your eyes. And take a moment here, turn awareness inward. Be aware of any sensations that you feel within your body. Now the quote I picked for today comes from Rumi, the Sufi poet. It's called, The Guest House. This being human is a guest house. Every morning a new arrival. A joy, a depression, a meanness. Some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all. Even if they're a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture, still treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whoever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. It's always important to remember that the seemingly bad oftentimes leads to the good. Continue to feel your body as you create gentle movement. Reach your arms overhead, take a full body stretch. Bring your knees to your chest. Roll over and come up to a comfortable seat. Place hands at heart center, bow your head. Let's take a moment to thank yourself for showing up today, showing up on your mat, showing up for yourself because you are worth it. We'll take hands to the forehead for clear and loving thoughts. Hands to the heart for clear and loving intentions. Hands to the mouth for clear and loving communications, sending this positive energy out to all beings. Namaste. Thank you for showing up today and practicing with me. That was really fun. Hope you enjoyed it. The benefits of Daily practice are lots, lots and lots of benefits. One of them is that you'll start to feel like your body moves a little bit easier. So we did a lot of movement in this practice. The more you practice, the easier it gets. I put together a 90-day program, and I'd love to have you join the first three days for free. If you're interested, you can click the link in the description of the video or the pinned comment. And if you'd like to stay on YouTube, I think you might like this video.